If you're going to change an area, you do three things. Number one, you focus on it and you get clear and compelling vision for what you want. If your body's not where you want it to be, I tell you there's one simple reason. It's not your focus. No, no, I focus on it. I focus all the time on how fat I am. <laughs> no. You see, if you focus on crashing into the pole, trying not to, the more you try not to, what you focus on, that's where the energy goes, that's where you go. Right? We all know that. But what people tend to do is I'm saying focusing on what you want, not what you don't want. And not only just focusing on what you want, where you focus and say, well, I'd like to be strong, I'd like to be energetic, I'd like to be fit. It's focusing and making it compelling. If your only reason you're focusing on it is like, well, I, I need to lose some weight because I feel fat, versus I want the energy to burn because with that I'll have more passion, more aliveness. I'll be able to impact my children. I'll be able to, you know, I'll be able to take the business to another level. I'll be able to have fun when I'm stressed out and tired. I'll have creativity flowing through me. You can't just focus on it. You've got to create a clear and compelling future in that area that will pull you towards it so you're not trying to push yourself. If there's an area you're not improving in, think of three pillars, if you would. Pillar one is get focused and clear. What's compelling? Where are you? Really? And don't lie. Where do you want to be? And make it so compelling you can't help it when you wake up in the morning you want to transform this area of your life. So the quality of your life already is better just because you are so excited about what you're after. When you do that with your body or your emotions or your finances or time or any other area and you start focusing and you're clear, you're going to have energy. You're going to have drive. You're going to start to do something. How do you make sure what you do really works? You need the second pillar. And think of this as three pillars. Because, you know, two-legged stool is going to fall over. One leg, you can't sustain. Second pillar, you got to get the best. When I say get the best, get the best tools. Get the best map. Get the best mentor. What I'm looking for is, I'm not, I, it's wonderful that you're focused and clear and excited, but if you're running east looking for a sunset, you got a problem. I don't care how much you believe, I don't care how much enthusiasm you have, you got the wrong tools. you got the wrong strategy. you got the wrong map. And so it's really critical in life, I believe, to get a map and get a mentor. Because the map very often changes. And the best mentor, somebody who's the best at what they do, they know the shortcuts, don't they? Or they know when the roads change. You don't get stuck hanging out you know, in the desert when you're trying to get to the ocean, you know, metaphorically. So I've always focused on not just finding somebody good, but who's the best in it? Who's got the best tools? Think of that first pillar as a target. You're crystal clear in the target. And now you've got the toolbox, man. You've got the best tools. Not rinky-dink tools, the very best. And the way to get the best, by the way, that I've done it, is model someone who's already successful. All the tools I come up with, some I've obviously created, but the foundation came by standing on the you know, shoulders of other giants. You know, I went out and found somebody that's already got the result. Why reinvent the wheel? Success leaves clues. Find the best, figure out what they're doing. Do that. Alter it. Find your, your view of it. But start with what already is working rather than starting from scratch and trial and error. But if you've got what you know that focus, the target, and you've got the toolbox, and you're still not getting what you want, it's because you've got inner conflicts. That's the third pillar. You've got to resolve your inner conflicts. Because that, as I try to explain to you, 80% of success in anything is your psychology and 20% is the mechanics. So those inner conflicts are when you take two steps forward and you pull three steps back. Right? When you say, boy, I'm totally committed to this, but you don't follow through. This is my expertise, the why guy part. Why? Why do you keep saying you want this? You have crystal clarity, you have the tools, and you're still not getting it? There's a conflict in you. You want to be totally successful, but you're afraid at some level that if you will, are totally successful, you will not be loved. You'll be rejected. You want to be in a position where you have total free time and you want to build a billion dollar enterprise. These are conflicts. You really, truly know you've got the tools and talents to make this happen, but a part of you doesn't think you deserve to succeed because of something you did at some point in your life or something you made up. Or you think making money or being successful economically is not spiritual. And you're committed to being spiritual, and yet the other part of you, it's the inner conflicts between fighting parts. So what do we do in this third pillar? Think of it as a vault we've got to unlock. Think of it as unlock and unleash. That's the third pillar. The way you unlock and unleash is you identify the conflicts. You get clear what they are. So you may have total clarity, even the tools, but how can you totally unleash and commit when you're being pulled in two different directions? You say, Tony, how do I solve that? There isn't one way. You've got to get clear about what's most important to you today, 
not what you think you should do based on an old blueprint, an old belief system, your parents, society, your friends. Otherwise, you'll succeed and not be fulfilled. So once you identify the conflicts, now what you got to do is align. Align your life with what you really value. Align your life with what is most important to you. And then once you are in a position where you're aligned, guess what you'll do? Take action. You won't even have to work at it. When everything's in alignment, there's nothing pulling you away, boom, you go for it. But when you say, I want a relationship, but at the same time, simultaneously, I want to be in a position where, you know, uh, I never have to, you know, I only get what I want every moment, or I never have to commit to anything, then obviously you're never going to get there. That inner conflict must be resolved. Once you align and you take action, guess what's going to happen? You're going to achieve. 